so we got some good questions from our fellow students and uh, the first would be is stress self-initiated? That's a good question Lisa. I'd have to say yes and no. Yes in the sense that so sometimes our thoughts and our feelings you know we start having thoughts in our mind and then we, we start creating a, you know a little bit of anxiety and stress because we start worrying about something, whether it's an exam, whether it's about a friend, a boyfriend, or something that didn't necessarily happen the, you know, the way we wanted it to happen. So yes, in that sense, stress is self-initiated. But then sometimes, you know, with uh, everyday life, things happen. And you know, I always like to use the, the word when shit happens. And I think when those types of situations happen, they inevitably cause stress and sometimes it's beyond our control and it's a question of uh, how do you learn how to deal with that what do you do in those situations what are the best and most effective ways of dealing with my stress well for everyone it'll be something different but there are common uh, techniques that I think benefit everybody it works the first one when we are stressed we forget to breathe and we have to do slow and it can be just simple just as doing a you know slow breathing from the belly up just kind of relaxing and then there's one I, I kind of find you know sometimes you don't have an hour to do meditation or to do it because you know God knows you're on the bus or you're in the car or you have to get somewhere and you have to perform and you're feeling that stress so one thing that I find uh, really helpful is what we call the reset button and I'll show you this one and then we can talk about other ways but I think this one's a really um, good one because it actually improves the connections between the neurons in your brain. It actually reduces the stress and actually improves concentration. So whatever the situation might, might be, it's just going to help you completely focus and, and just, you know, calm the thoughts and things that are going crazy in your mind. So basically what it is, let's try it. You, you basically sit up, you can lie down, but it's, it's kind of better to sit up. You can either have your eyes open or your eyes closed. But basically the idea is to start breathing from your belly. It's, it's called the three minute uh, version. It's the reset button. And basically you take your index finger and you sit up straight. Basically you're going to start breathing from the, the belly button. And the idea is to do it for counts of four. So basically you block your right and you're only going to breathe and exhale from the left. So basically it's like this. Just go up for one, two, three, four, you kind of feel it float here in terms of the energy and the breathing and you hold for four and then you're, ex you're going to exhale. One, two, three, and four. And the idea is to do it three minutes and really it, it uses your, you know, because your body, you have a tool inside um, on, in terms of breathing and it's the ability to, to actually use it worthwhile. So when you do that for three minutes, it actually makes sure that the neurons connect it reduces the stress, it calms the mind because of the thoughts floating around, and it just gives you a, a better sense of grounded. So whatever situation you have to deal with, then you can have that. Now, I know you also asked um, in another discussion, what about if somebody has a panic attack? And so you can use the same uh, principle, but sometimes they get, if they're having a panic attack, they're like in panic and their heart, you know, their heart rate is beating, they actually feel sometimes that they're actually having a heart attack or, or passing out. And the idea in that situation is basically to actually put your hand out and ask them to breathe with you so that they can actually follow. So you actually tell the person to, you know, to look at your hand and then to breathe so you can actually do the one, two, three, and four, and then bring them back down. One, two, three, and four. So the idea with the hand, it gives them something to focus on because they're already in, in a panic and they can't concentrate already. So you want, want them to get in that, in that kind of right frame. Other things that people will obviously work, exercise is key, any form of exercise. Um, you know, everything from running to jumping to um, acrobatics to ski to whatever. Uh, walking is, is, is key, music is, you know, you guys love uh, music, so play some fun tunes, uh, let it out. Kind of explore a combination of things in terms of uh, either sports or, or art activities. So, what, you know, to find what, what, what's going to help you get your groove back. So the idea is to kind of feel like you're yourself again, um, especially when there's high periods of stress. So thank you for the great advice.
Lisa, it's always great to see you, and thanks for sharing those great questions with us.